man. It's Monday. We got some work to do. Unfortunately. So freaking tired. I need to drink some coffee. But yeah, guys, I'm trying to wake up right now. Going to Stanford again. In the Four Escape right now. Uh, someone was asking the year. It's a 2014, by the way. So the screen display here, you can change the screen by hitting this left side, like, okay thing with the arrows. It'll show you, like, distance to empty. Those little, like, miles per gallon. Sorry, I probably sound super tired right now. Uh, but if you keep hitting this, if I go up more, I keep it on the speed screen just so I can see the speed. Uh, I don't know if these displays are on anything newer, but trip timer, trip odometer, so you can reset that. Yeah, distance to empty. But yeah guys, so uh, I had a video filmed, uh, it was in a different truck and it was it was pretty good, at least I think it was a pretty good video, but uh, I edited it in Final Cut Pro and by edit I mean <laughs> I freaking put the clips up and just trimmed them down because you know my edits are so amazing right, but uh, the hard drive it got like corrupted so it's on there if I can somehow get it off but I just got a new hard drive so I kind of you know <laughs> lost that video which kind of stinks but so be it you know move on way she goes if I can get it off then I'll upload it it was in a uh, one of those Hino trucks uh, it was a pretty good video but uh, we'll see what happens today on the road I mean it's a nice day out. In the HQ, we get a load up. I don't know what truck we're taking. Oh yeah, we're taking the truck that just got repaired. So it was shifting uh, very wonky. I guess the wires were like chafed or whatever. So driving into uh, Woburn right now. Pick up the highway. You know the deal, guys. You've done this before with me. Thanks to all my uh, subscribers. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, trying to, you know, you know, make these videos more interesting. Uh, just cause honestly, I like watching them just like for my own sake. I feel like sometimes I'm just doing the same thing every day. Uh, one thing I would add is that, uh, or one thing I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say. In about a week, so like 10 days maybe, I'm taking the uh, CDL permit tests. So after I get the CDL permit, I'm probably gonna try to move up, get into the CDL training, and you know, obviously I'm gonna take the camera with me. So hopefully that should be more interesting. But until then, we're stuck in the box trucks right now, guys. So I'm kind of taking you along the journey with me of like, trying to go from driving the box trucks and then getting into the semis and then uh, showing you like I don't know just kind of kind of journaling it I guess putting it out there for you guys but yeah I got an oil change in this car so that makes me happy because it's been like over 10,000 miles which you know I should have gotten it a bit sooner, but it is the what it is, the way she goes. Got it done the other day. Okay, I think I'm finally starting to wake up. I got my coffee. One of these Monday mornings, it's a nice day out. 
But yeah, guys, I'll check in with you. Uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right. Let's see how long the dunks drive-through line is. Damn, there's a lot of trucks in here today. Eh, yeah, not too bad. Pulling into the office, guys. Excuse me. Purple truck. Falling into my favorite place. Esquire. There's FedEx. All their day drivers. Where's this dude going? Getting the day started. We'll see what we have to deal with today. Because they always, you know, add something that. I had something I gotta deal with, and uh, yeah. Still feeling a bit, uh, I still got that morning grog, you know what I mean? Still trying to pull myself out of that. But, uh, Always trying to stay positive. There's a dude come in. Wait for him to go. Alright guys, we're in the truck. So to turn it on, we gotta turn the battery on. So we gotta turn this switch. You hear a little click. And keys are right here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Gonna drive to the back. And load her up. Push the air brake in. Flip the light switch on. How much gas? Oh, we got a full tank. That makes me very, very happy. Jeez, that's squeaking. I haven't done my inspection yet or anything. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, before we leave, don't need to do it right now. I'll do it after we load. Just did all the uh, put new mulch down, so it smells like uh, smells like new mulch, if you know what I mean. That new mulch smell. I didn't even check if there was anything in the back. I don't believe there is, because normally the manager would send out an email. Uh, why this is gonna be annoying to uh, back up. Actually, I'll show you what I do when, I, when this happens. I'm gonna do this. Turn right here. Because there's not a lot of space down there, so we're going to have to back up through this parking lot. See, tell you that. So 
sun glare. Gotta straighten her out. We got it. Neutral. All right, guys, checking with you in a bit. All right, guys, all loaded up. We did our vehicle inspection sheet, which this is like my company's, but like on the actual app, I do the logging in. There's like an inspection thing, and that's like really like if you get pulled over, that's what they want to see more than this. But this is for the company, so they know what's going on. Got the reefer set to 37 because we got some meat in the back, but we also have eggs. And if it was just meat, we'd have it set to zero. But since we got eggs, we set it to 37. So we are out of here. And I am going to stop at my car to get my sunglasses. I just have to find where I put my keys which isn't hopefully hopefully there's somewhere well you know how it is guys another day another dollar and I put it in here Yep, good, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Grab my sunglasses, cause need them. get on our merry way <sighs> I don't want to make I feel like I video like everything or I try to and then the video just becomes too long I don't really know like I always feel like 20 to 30 minutes is the perfect length even though they're coming out to like 40 to like an hour things I've learned but a big thing that I've learned while doing this job for you know six months now is that you do not need to fly to get the job done and by what I mean is that when you you know a lot of people when they first start they kind of think like okay I gotta go I gotta fly on the highway and I have to get the job done whereas if you just go like the speed limit and you just take your time like you'll get the job done in pretty much the same amount of time like because the thing is you can't control traffic you know so if you get caught up in like a cluster of cars like a lot of the times if they're not going fast you'll get caught up in another cluster of cars you know and you'll get caught up in another one and like you, you just can't control traffic so like like the thing is is like the days that I've like you know floored it and like you know flown around people and like how to get around people some of those days have actually taken longer than the days where I just like go you know 65 you know take my time uh, like I've had faster of, of those days and I also enjoy the drive a lot more so you know just always something to keep in mind you never really need to go faster 
than the speed limit to be honest with you like if the speed limit is 65 go 65 if it's 55 go 55 it's you know you won't get anywhere that much faster by going you know 70 in a 65 and you just enjoy driving more them if you if you drive like you're driving like a sports car and you feel like you have to get around everyone uh, you're gonna get burnt out quicker and you know the days that I've kind of gotten my own head of like gonna get the job done and try to do it as fast as I can you know I don't drive as good and I just keep getting more uh, annoyed you know so we're going 65 now the car in front of us is probably going a little under, but we're picking up the highway, so there's no need to go any faster. Another thing to keep in mind is uh, you always want to use the braking effect of the engine before the pedal. So if I want to brake to avoid a hazard, that... Uh, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. There's a name for that. I can't remember the name for it. But, you know, you always want to use, so there's a J-brake here. Obviously, if you were in a, you had a manual transmission, you could pop into a lower gear and use the engine to slow down. So with this, it's the same thing. If I want to slow down, I hit the J-brake first and I let the engine slow itself down. And then if I have to use the brakes, I use the brakes. And this is especially the case when driving the back roads and you're going down hills because the more brake you use, the more brake fade uh, could happen. Meaning that the harder you have to press the brake pedal down to get the power of the brake. As well as the air pressure is gonna go down too. Because the, the air tanks only hold so much for so many stops and the more you use the brakes the more the air brakes are gonna go down and then the air compressor has to resupply the tanks you guys know what I mean right I'm probably not doing the best the best job explaining this cuz I I'm not much of a uh, talker you know, I'm not a teacher, you know what I mean? But uh, I try to explain it to you guys. So we're headed out. Headed down south. I'm doing this run a lot this week, so I don't know how often I'm gonna film just because it might get a little repetitive. I feel like these videos have already been getting repetitive, but, you know, maybe you guys like the driving, I don't know. So we got cars coming up, we'll start using the J-brake, put the directional on, and this dude will go in front, that dude will go behind. Now this is a 25, so we're going to want to hit the brake a little bit more, because this is a sharp ramp turn the j-brake off take our time coming around here always keeping in mind of the uh, the contents of the load we have in the back Directional on because we got to move over. Start giving some gas. Move over another lane. Highway looks pretty uh, clear. So. Car's gonna have to let us in. And we are golden. 
golden pony boy. All right, guys, I'll check in with you in a little bit. I swear, this, this dude just cut right in front of me. Some of these truck drivers, man, they just, it's like any industry, I guess. I shouldn't get upset. But some of them are just so stupid. Like, this dude just cuts in front of me. I'm going like 65, he's going like 50. And there's no space, and he's like, nope, I'm gonna move over. Like, bro, I'm about to hit you. I'm just venting to the camera, guys. Get their curtains down, they don't even want to look. What a stupid angle. That, see what I mean? It's those type of drivers. Just leave me alone, I'm gonna be in my own world. Like, screw that, dude. Connecticut Welcome Center, which is like 11 miles into Connecticut, if that makes any sense. We're behind our friend FedEx. So we're just going 65, we'll get there. Hopefully there's not a lot of traffic on 95. Feel the pee coming on. This highway and the next one, 91, is very hilly. I mean, I feel like the northeast in general is pretty hilly, which is kind of annoying because you get a lot of power coming down and then you lose it all going back up. So you're always playing that game. Cruising. 
Jason. I'm not a huge Jeep fan. At least those models, they just, I mean, I feel like they've made them a bit safer, but they're just, they're not safe. <laughs> I've seen a couple fatal car crashes and they were driving Jeeps. They just crumble up. All right, what does it say? Rest area, so it's five miles from here. Jeez, I gotta freaking piss. It's 10 o'clock, so we're making good time. Just enjoying the day. Sitting back. It's funny, I rarely ever use cruise control. I just like to drive the truck, I don't know. Five minutes till we're there so not too bad I do this ride a lot so I know like every corner of this freaking run and then we'll have to turn around and drive back to Connecticut, Stamford, that is. Uh, it's always 95 that gets me. Boy, this pothole.
somewhere. No, we'll do is go to available hours, on duty, not driving, save. And uh, turn this thing off. We'll be back in a bit after we unload. All right, guys, we're out of here. Seatbelt on, lights are on, reefers off, sunglasses on, uh, phone. Go to driving on our Blue Wing Tech app for logging. Looks like we get seven hours, 52 minutes of drive time left. And put on, I'll put on tunes in a sec. Oh, I'm glad to get out of here. Now we get three hours back, guys. Day in the life. golden pony boy we've gone through a quarter of a tank a little over a quarter which ain't too shabby it's hot out today guys I shouldn't complain about that, but... Turn that there. I'm debating on uh, stopping to get a coffee, but... We'll see. These are the northeastern roads. See how cracked and just potholed up they are? This sound, whatever. That's the air compressor. Compressing air, storing it in our uh, our air tanks. That's this. These guys are supply gauges. Not really supposed to take a right here. golden pony boy we are golden all right guys we'll check on in with you in a bit
37 miles to 91. Let's hope this is a quick and painless 95. At least we're on the uh, return trip, guys. That means we're past the halfway point. Check the GPS, see what it says. Don't text and drive, guys. Work. Keep our eyes open because there's people merging and that's when cars will just like to fly into our land. Looks like there's a little hold up. That yeah, looks uh, pretty clear. I'll take that. I'll take that, guys. You don't know how much 95 sucks if you don't live uh, in the east side of the country. This highway is always congested. Show behind our friend Green Vibrance. busy. There's not like any truck parking there. It's so, uh, it's not a good one to stop at. All right, let's see what's going on up here because we're all stopped on this side, but it looks like, I don't know. Oh, uh, looks like someone went sideways. They look all right, though. That sucks. I feel like there really shouldn't be any traffic on our side, though. We missed that coming down. Probably happened like 20 minutes ago. If there wasn't any traffic, we'd be across the border and like into Massachusetts in like five minutes. Ooh, trucking. Yes, ma'am. But uh, we're sitting in traffic on 84. I don't know what it's for. The GPS didn't say it, just showed. 
that there was a tra some traffic for like a mile, so. Hopefully it moves. Here's the way station. Up, even though there's, uh, there's still traffic, it shows on the GPS there's no traffic, but I don't freaking know what's going on. About to pass the border. Well, actually, apparently, we just did. Seven miles from 90, so I just want this to move. It's so congested. It's there's never traffic here, but up there's the sun. Oh, those are one of those Lamborghini like SUV type cars. Look what's coming up. exit it's 3.30 didn't make too bad too bad time hopefully we'll be up before 5 but either way we're near Boston we'll probably be sitting in some traffic so I'll probably uh, end the video when I pull into the gas station just cause after that it's just the same old same old but yeah, that's Connecticut, and I'm doing it again tomorrow, and the day after that, and Friday. It's not, it's pretty good hours, I mean, you make decent money, but. But yeah, for the future, uh, looking, I'm supposed to be getting my permit for the CDL 
the next week. So after that, we're gonna get tired. I've been tired all day. After that, we'll hopefully be getting into the semis and uh, we'll start filming that. And we'll say buy the box trucks, guys. Exit 78, Treble Cove Road. I could totally take a nap right now. Not the right thing to say when you're driving a truck, but I'm awake. I gotta pee too. Well guys, I'm gonna wind down the video. It's been a good trip. Pretty boring day to be honest, but hopefully you guys like some of the driving shots and maybe you learned something new. Maybe I showed you something you've never seen. Maybe uh, you're looking to get into driving box trucks too and you want to see what it's like. So it's gonna be about, it's been about an eight hour day today. But again, you know, thanks for watching. You know, let me know what you wanna see. Leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe, share it. Do whatever you want. I mean, I guess if you don't like it, you could dislike it too. But, you know, not that I want that. But again, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.